Welcome to this look at the new productions that come as part of the Platinum Expansion on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, we're checking out the new productions from the Premium Expansion Premium Edition. As you can see, I'm not on Zolonka because I wanted to try something out as part of this testing. Uh, and that was the transference over onto other maps. I'm on Western Worlds, which is my test map. And the downside at the moment is because uh, none of the mods have caught up. <laughs> so the buy anything silos and things like that where you can normally go and buy potatoes and sugar beet and you can buy in bulk. So when you're doing mod reviews and things like this, you can go and do that. So what I used in my last video, uh, which I've already posted, which was showing off the, the new root crops, how to plant them, how to harvest them, all the equipment, that kind of thing. Um, that's all that I'd planted. So I've harvested everything I had and I've put it into the buildings we have got. So what do we actually get with the premium expansion that we didn't have before? Well, if we go into our build mode, go to production and factories and scroll across. Now we do have... And I said this when I did the map tour. We have got a bakery, we have got a dairy, and we have got a spinnery. Now those are exactly the same as the standard in-game ones. Um, they're just a slightly different design to what we've had already. So we've just got another a bakery, we've got another dairy, and then we've got another spinnery. So those are added in. So what's new that we didn't have before, we start with the potato processing plant. That's this large building here. A potato processing plant, slot count is 15, 120,000 to buy, and this will do potato chips or crisps. It requires potatoes in, so not using the new crop types, but using an existing one. Uh, and this will require um, canola oil, olive oil, and sunflower oil. You bring those and we can make crisps or potato chips. Uh, the next one in the row is the preserved food factory, which is this one over here. Preserved food factory puts in jars, like pickled, like, like beetroot you would normally get. Um, it preserves them. A preserved food factory is 16 slots, 110,000 to buy. Slot count will come down to one. This will take red beet, parsnip and carrot. We'll have a look at that in a moment. And then lastly, well, not lastly, we've got the soup factory. Soup, soup, soup. Um, the soup factory is 15 slots, 135,000 to buy. Slot count will come down to one. This will take red beet, parsnip and carrot and potato as well. So it will use a pre-existing root crop too. What we've got then here, and I wasn't sure if this would carry over, and this is the one I'm most curious about. And again, I wanted to test it on here to see if it would pull over to other maps, and we have got it on here. Uh, if we go to our cell points and scroll across to here, we've got the piano manufacturer. So the piano manufacturer is 19 slots, 140,000 to buy. You buy it and you place it. So what I'm going to do with the productions, I'm going to... Well, I've put some stuff in there. I'm going to set them running and we're going to go ahead a month. I'm on one day months, so we'll go ahead a month and we'll see how much has been produced because I'm curious to see how long it's going to take to produce these items. The piano manufacturer, as far as I'm aware, as far as I can tell, will work like the boat building yard did, although it only requires planks. If I come over here, it says at the bottom, materials missing, planks. Progress 0.0%. I bought over a load of planks ready to put in there. So what we'll do with that then is put them in. I don't know how many pallets of planks it's going to require. I don't know whether it's going to take months to, to, to make. I don't know. Like I say, this is all going to be as we put it in. We'll see what happens. So we'll start off over here with our preserved food factory. Like I said, I haven't, I, I just had what I had planted in the ground. Um, I haven't filled these up completely, but you can get a kind of indication. We go here to our managed production point. We're on the middle one here. So we can do preserved food carrots, parsnips, or beetroot. I've got 20,000 litres of carrots, 5,546 of parsnip, 5,335 of red beet. The recipes, 240 cycles per month on each, and there are 100 to 60. So you lose a little bit, but not a huge amount. That's why I haven't put as much in here. I've put more into the soup factory and you'll see that in a minute because of the recipe so i turn each of those on we should then get 
our carrots, preserved carrots, preserved parsnips and preserved beetroot. I'm going to put them all on storing so we get the pallets come out because I want to see what they look like when they come out. Now, if we move along the row, we'll go past here and we'll come back to that in a moment because like I say, I'm curious about this. And we'll go to the soup factory next. So for soup factory, just here, we can do triple soup, which is in essence a vegetable soup, carrot, parsnip, and, and red beet. Now the recipe on all of these is 300 to 1, so it's a 3 to 1 ratio. Um, that's why I put more of what I had in here because of what's happened. Now also we can do just a carrot soup, 300 to 100, parsnip soup, red beet soup, and then potato soup. So the potato soup I've put in, I filled it up completely. Now if that is the same for all three you can look at that potentially being the full capacity 450,000 litres of each which looking at it I would say seems about right um, again I've got these on storing and I'm going to skip ahead a month and we'll see what we've got I'm hoping I've got enough of everything we should have to get at least uh, at least one pallet um, the triple soup is 120 cycles per month and the others are 144 but they're all a three to one ratio pretty much so they're all running and then if we go across here to our potato processing this one i could fill up because of the things we had on hand it's a big old facility this kozlovsky so these will all each recipe will just make potato chips there's not different um, flavours or anything like that at the moment. So we've got potato chips with sunflower oil, we've got potato chip with canola oil and potato chip with olive oil. And as you can see, potatoes, 480,000 litres, 24,000 litres of sunflower oil and 24,000 litres of canola oil, 19,200 of olive oil. So we'll set those running. Now we'll get a pallet of these much quicker than anything else. The recipes are 480 but we are going from 100 of potatoes and 5 of the oil, well, 4 of the oil for, for um, olive oil, down to just 30 for potato chips. But although we are, I mean, in essence, it's a third again, almost, almost a 3 to 1, we have got three productions running it, so we should get, that's already saying 2 litres, so we should get a pallet of potato chips fairly quickly. So like I said, I'll skip ahead a month, we'll have a look and we'll see what we've got there. I'm anticipating that the piano factory, piano production, will take longer. But again, that's the point of doing this, is to check. So what I'm going to do is put a pallet in um, and we'll see. Whoa, that was cool. We've got music playing. I think I've got 20 pallets here. So I'll keep filling up. We'll see what it takes to fill it. And then, like I said, we'll skip ahead a month. I might actually, just the first day, go hour by hour. And we'll just keep an eye in the window at the um, piano manufacturer. Now, the piano manufacturer, we can go in. We can open and close the door. We can go in and we do have lighting in here. And since we put the planks in, you can hear the hammering and tinkering, and now we've got music playing. Fascinating. And because this is a sell point, we're not being paid for these planks we're putting in. As far as I'm aware, we'll just get paid for the piano when it's done. Ah, there we go. So we've reached our capacity. Let's take that one out. That one out. So 13,000 litres is the capacity. So I don't know if it's going to take 13,000 litres to make the piano. We don't have a price for piano. There's nothing showing for piano. So we've got 13,000 litres in there. What's going to be interesting is, does it use the whole 13,000 litres for one piano? And if you think of 13,000 litres of planks, what they would sell for, you're hoping the piano is going to be an equitable price or more. That's kind of the point. We will have a double check on the prices because I haven't talked about those yet. So our potato chips here on um, uh, Western Wilds, at least. Potato chips, 2,600. I'm on normal economy. 
so that's not bad potatoes and some oils in 2600 um, our preserved foods 1400 for the carrots roughly one three the train yards always a little bit higher here on western wilds and the beetroot one threes with one four at the farmers market so there are some varying prices then we move on to the soups the vegetable soup over two thousand carrots one eight roughly nearly one nine parsnip soup one eight one nine red beet soup one seven one eight and then potato soup interesting enough considering we have potatoes already in game um the potato soup is worth more i mean the triple soup is the most but yeah potato soup that's well worth doing so i guess that's been done as well to encourage you to still do the original crop types that are in game so you don't just decide okay i've done enough potatoes now let's just which i think people are going to do of course they are right? everyone wants to try out the new crop types um but that's encouraging you to still sort of maintain some work with potatoes so i will speed up time and keep i've got some more here because i wasn't sure how much i'd need um but 13,000 litres is where we're at so i'll speed up time and let's see if anything happens here over the course of the day if not i'll skip ahead till tomorrow which will be a month ahead and we'll see what we've got out of these productions And so, we've gone through the night, we're just under 24 hours, so just under a month, um, and we're up to 24%, just over 24% done. So we're looking at potentially four months, or yeah, maybe a little bit just over, but that's what we've got done in one day. We've only used, what, one and a half thousand, no, 1,200 litres? So I reckon if it's going to be four, just over four days, we could be looking at about 5,000 litres we're going to use. Which is pretty good. So, let's go and have a look at everything else and see what we've got produced. So our preserves. Our preserved goods. Preserved carrots. 2,000 litres on each pallet. So this is in one month. That's our preserved parsnips. More carrots. And then we've got beetroot. So I'm saying red beet. That's beetroot. That's in pickled in a jar. Each one 2,000. That's a fair amount, in all honesty, for a month. Let's say, I'm one day a month, so 24 hours, but that's a month. And each one of those is 2,000 litres, so that's pretty good. Um, we've got not quite, I've run out, that's why, I've run out of um, um, red beet. That's why that stopped. And the same on the soup factory, it's the red beet I had the least of. Um, but... We've still got, if the others are all 2,000 litres as well, we're not far off getting another set of pallets on each one as well. I'm, I'm very impressed with how much we got there on, um, on one month. Two, four, six, eight, I mean, that's 16,000 litres. That's pretty good with the prices we're getting as well. That's impressive stuff. Right. Let's check on our soups, shall we? So, parsnip soup. Yep, 2,000 litres, these are. Next up, a red beet soup. Carrot soup. Potato soup, which means the one over there should be our mixed, our vegetable soup. There we go, triple soup. Each one 2,000 litres. Again, in a month, that's one of each. If I hadn't have run out of, um, and we're not far off on this one, of getting another one of each. So... Again, in a month, that's pretty good going. Considering the prices of them as well. Let's go and check it out of potato chips. Again, I'm assuming these are going to be 2,000 litre boxes. And we've got a few. Again, not bad. Yep, 2,000 litre boxes. Farming simulator potato chips. I've got a very um, distinct look about those uh, boxes. 
I need it. So is that two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve thousand litres of potato chips. And they pay pretty well as well. I'm very impressed with these productions as part of this pack. I like the fact you can move them around as well on top of the maps, which is absolutely great. Um, I think what we're going to do now, we're going to have to skip ahead a month and uh, we'll see where we stand with regard to the piano because that's the final check now is is it worth making pianos if it uses a full 13,000 litres depending on the price of, of your planks is it worth it you know you, you could end up spending more or you could have made more on selling your planks and we found that sometimes with productions but we know that the the boat building worked out really well oh there you go we've done a little bit more already So fingers crossed. See if it's worth it or not. I'm feeling optimistic. Two months have passed. 48% complete. How are we looking on the piano now? Very nice indeed. So it is going to be... I mean, to be fair, we're at 7 o'clock in the morning. So we're a little bit early again. So it's going to be pretty much four months. Let's see. Three months, we're at 74.5% complete. And it's looking like we're going to be about 5,000 litres for one piano. That's pretty cool. I think what I'm going to do this time is when I skip ahead, I need to skip ahead to maybe six in the morning. Because if I jump too far ahead and it goes to 100% complete, I am I could miss it selling. I, I'm not quite sure at what point and how it will sell. So that's what we'll do next. I'll jump ahead till six in the morning. That'll be into the fourth month or four months. Um, and we'll see where we're at then. Four months, we're at 97.3% complete. So I'm gonna speed up time. 8,137 liters of uh, planks left. So it's gonna work out about 5,000 liters, maybe a little bit over. This is how we're looking at the moment. Okay, so we're saying progress 100%. Planks 8,001, which means it was 5,000. Wonder how we sell it. Whether it needs to um, keep going. That's curious. There's no option. Go to the piano itself. Oh, there we go. 54 grand 54,000 <coughs> is it worth doing absolutely flogging lootly it is wowzers so 5,000 liters 5,000 liters of these let's have a look at planks what are planks selling for um planks at the moment, on this map, on normal economy, 2,100-ish. Again, train yard, that price has always been overinflated on Western Wilds. So 5,000 of those, we're looking at 10 grand. So 10 grand's worth of lumber, potentially, if I sold it, of planks, 54 grand. 50. Impressive stuff. I like it. And just keeps. That's a really good use for the <laughs> for planks. I like that. I'm going to have one of these placed everywhere. <laughs> we want loads of them. Um, and there we go. I bought some of the stuff out the front just so we could sort of see it a little bit easier. Thumbnailing and all that kind of thing. But uh, I'm, I'm 
very impressed with the new products and productions. I think they're very cool. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative. I hope it helps in some way. If it does, if it has, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. I'm going to put some more in to make some more pianos. Thanks for watching.